2022 Dodge Challenger. Dodge only builds three vehicles at this point, one of them being the big, burly Challenger two-door. Retro styling makes it one of the better-looking vehicles on sale, especially with the enormous tires and fender flares that come with the Challenger widebody. Dodge introduced the Challenger way back in 2008 and gave the muscle car a major refresh for 2015, changes for 2022 are limited to a new alarm system. The Challenger competes with other American performance coupes like the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro as well as foreign competitors like the Nissan Z. Hi guys, this is just exotic. Please subscribe, like, and don't forget to comment on this video, turn on your notification button to be notified when we drop another video. The 2022 Dodge Challenger is a blast from that past, not only because its whole vibe is inherently old school, but some models are seriously entertaining. The least expensive way to join the Challenger's brotherhood of muscle is through the entry-level V6 model, the only two-door muscle car to offer all-wheel drive. Get behind the wheel of any RT model to experience the sound and fury of a Hemi V8, either a 375 horsepower 5.7 liter or a 485 horsepower 6.4 liter. Compared with the Chevy Camaro or Ford Mustang, the Challenger is larger and less athletic. However, it rides smoother and offers more comfortable passenger accommodations. And while the 2022 Challenger is marred by mediocre interior materials and an unsatisfying manual transmission, it's still a cool coupe that regularly reminds its driver of a bygone era. For 2022, Dodge does what Dodge does by not making any significant changes to the Challenger lineup. The only difference between last year's models is that the RT Scat Pack now includes a deluxe security alarm. This feature is also now included with the convenience group package. The Challenger's base 305 horsepower V6 won't satisfy thrill seekers. The modest engine mates exclusively to the 8-speed automatic, but in the heavy Challenger, it lacks the acceleration and excitement of rivals. The Dodge's Hemi V8 engines are another story. The 375 horsepower 5.7 liter we tested had plenty of juice to power slide on demand, and its guttural growl was gratifying. Those looking to maximize the Challenger's potential will want the 6.4 liter V8, which produces 485 horsepower and 475 pound feet of torque. We also drove the TA392 with the automatic and admired the exhaust cannon blast startup sound and baritone roar when prodded. While we're suckers for a manual transmission, the ZF Automatic is incredibly responsive to throttle inputs, with quick power on downshifts. The Challenger hustles through corners like a raging bull seeing red, snorting aggressively and swaying threateningly. The burly Dodge is a muscle car in the truest sense, it's better on the street and the drag strip than on two lanes and road courses. Since the lineup's redesign in 2015, the models we've driven have offered a compliant ride that's comfortable but a bit unrefined. Compared with the sharper and stickier handling of the Camaro and Mustang, however, the Challenger is too soft in tight turns and its steering is too numb. The slow-to-react helm is well-suited to leisurely drives and easily controlled power-induced tail slides. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell to be notified when we drop another video. The rear-drive, V6-powered Challenger is estimated to earn 19 miles per gallon city and 30 highway. Adding all-wheel drive into the mix lowers those ratings by 1 and 3 miles per gallon, respectively. Challengers with the 5.7-litre V8 are expected to earn up to 16 miles per gallon city and 25 highway. Versions with the 6.4-litre V8 are rated up to 15 miles per gallon city and 24 highway. We've tested the all-wheel drive V6 Challenger and one with the 485 horsepower V8 and automatic transmission on our 75 miles per hour real-world route, which is part of our extensive testing regimen. Surprisingly, they both earn 26 miles per gallon on the highway. For more information about the Challenger's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. The Challenger has a classic muscle car interior, with a simple design inspired by its 1970s-era predecessors and comfortable accommodations. Compared with its pony car rivals, the Dodge is far roomier inside, and adults can actually use the back seat. Unfortunately, its rubberized materials resemble old vinyl rather than premium plastic, and rear visibility is lousy. 
The Challenger's broad front seats are comfortable for cruising, but even the optional seats, which have added bolstering, don't hug their occupants the way those in the Camaro or Mustang do. Dodge's pony car has an extra 7 cubic feet of cargo space in its trunk versus the Camaro. This allows the Challenger to swallow two more bags of luggage than the Camaro. Fold the back seats down and that advantage grows to six. The Challenger has a big center console bin and a useful spot for a smartphone. Still, none of the cars we tested in this class was particularly adept at storing small items. Every Challenger has a version of Dodge's easy-to-use Uconnect infotainment system. The feature-filled unit includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration as standard equipment. Looking to get the lead out? Listen to Jimmy Page's spine-tingling guitar riffs with one of two optional Alpine audio systems or the Cream de la Cream 900-watt, 18-speaker Harman Kardon setup. This old-school coupe is available with desirable driver assistance technology. Key safety features include Available blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert Available adaptive cruise control Available automatic high beams the Challenger has average limited and powertrain warranties. Unlike BMW and Chevrolet, Dodge doesn't provide any complimentary scheduled maintenance. Limited warranty covers 3 years or 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance. Dodge has not announced pricing for the 2022 Challenger. Typically, the Challenger has one of the higher base prices among sports cars, you can expect it to start at less than $30,000. With this, the exotic car world is placed on notice. Thank you all for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment the country you're watching from. See you in my next video.